Yep. And, uh... Where the fuck am I? Uh, you're in that, like, furthest down research station. You have to go back to the... Yeah, where the hell's, like, the... The door's right behind it. Or right... Yeah, you're walking towards it. Okay, there we go. We're out. <laughs> Not like you could see that, but... Alright, dumb as shit. Let's get on. Let's go kill some fucking robo Pokemon. Oh, or your. Oh, right. wow. What the fuck? Um, okay. That explains why I didn't realize where I was. <laughs> oh, we got Corvus up front for the poison type. That's probably what we're going to lead with. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? It is poison fire, though. I don't have a lot of other options. You have ground. Where? Table? He has That's fire. rock. No, but he has earthquake, though, right? Oh, he has Earthquake, yeah, I guess. He's also just slower than shit. Yeah. But he can survive a poison or a fire type attack. Yeah. He's got a lot of defense, not a lot of special defense, which is most likely what's going to use against you, but... Are you not going to talk to him? Oh, you have to put the book in the... Oh, for the love of... I don't want to talk to him anyways. <laughs> can I skip? Oh, I should have turned off. That seems, I suppose. Yeah, but then it'll turn off the one afterwards, though, too. Uh, yeah, I guess you probably and wouldn't have time. possibly the end credits? I don't you, know. Well, I doubt it would cut the end credits. Actually, yeah, I think you can skip the end credits or something. Like this if you to. But we're not going to, because we don't skip the end credits the first time. Yeah. I'll let him go. Alright, all right, we do this again. We're back. Try it again to get to the end credits. You know, it would be nice if they just had a skip cutscene option, you know, in the actual cutscene. Oh, I know, right? Like, you know, most games. I just realized they never gave me my Master Ball. Uh, Not that it really matters. Yeah, but, I, think mm. it's, I think it's after... Uh, after the game, like post-game, they give you a Master Ball. Yeah, like I said, not that it really matters, but just interesting fact that they never get any damage. Yeah. Alright, so we got this weird ass poison thing here. Beep boop, I am a robot. Alright. Oh, right, stone is also effective, so it's. Oh, yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, it's fire. Fire. Uh, yeah, it's times four, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's electric. That's not what I expected. Yeah, it's got electric moves, despite being... I think they all have electric moves. By the way, one wanted to know something funny. Not a single one is the except the one he has used, which is the uh, non-man one. Uh, I mean... Technically, I, I have the mind of someone that ordered within this fight, so... Yeah, I, I like, have the mind of a future <laughs> person. Yeah. So kind of, in a way, yes. About to send out iron. Oh wait, uh, where, where yeah, that's the. Uh, is it? Oh yeah. This rock electric is also for as we the ground. Then I guess we'll go for it. Oh, he's got it. That's right. We're fine. Yeah. Defense. I mean, I suppose. Sure. <laughs> Coming from the person that also got hit by a super effective attack already twice. Man, maybe that I don't four even... times effective, both of them. Maybe I don't even need fucking Fat Boy to set up for me. Yeah, apparently when things are four times weak to stuff, it's really easy <laughs> to kill them. What do you send out? I missed Iron, oh, iron Hands. Uh, electric Fighting. Well, so I guess they technically had two Electric Fighting Hands. So I guess that's also weak to Earth? Yeah, it's also weak to Earth. Do I just try to recover? He does me? kill Rock. Oh yeah, he's got Fighting though, doesn't he? So what if we were to swap to this? As long as he doesn't have like an ice fairy or dragon type move, I can probably just set up in his face. True. I mean, I think he probably fits like a charge. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Free switch in. <laughs> dance the Macarena! <laughs> the Macarena is officially the dragon dance. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah, we're okay. We can take a crit. We'll see if we can't sweep with Amelia here. Why do we call it Amelia again? Oh yeah, Amelia here. I don't think we're gonna take a crit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see what we do. I don't think we're gonna kill it though. Either. Sadly, yeah. Well, we tried. Because I think you had like. Oh, we do dragon have dragon dance and also a uh, two. The dog didn't do anything last time. The dog died instantaneously. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah. If the dog got to do anything, we would have won. I That's... thought you did kill. Oh no, that was the other Iron Hands, not the one in this uh, fight. Because there was an Iron Hands that that thing one shot, but it wasn't this fight. Well, he's still alive. That shell bell coming in clutch there. Yeah. Iron Juggalo. Uh, dark flying. Oh, that's this thing. Okay, he's already half dead. Do I even bring in Fat Boy to set up for the rest of these? Well, he can just kill. Oh no! It's, he, it's, it's not dragon anymore, so it's not effective anymore. But oh, yeah. if it was still dragon. Then that would be good. Uh. Maybe bring him up. do it against Dark Flying. Data could come in and do some shit here. But but you, if you do want to bring Fat Boy for setup, though, this one be the. I'm just wondering, do we set up Reflect first, and then let him set up behind the Reflect Barrier? This, this thing wants to use Physical. No, wait. Hydreigon uses Special. Does it still use Special, I guess? I don't know. We don't have... I, I specifically chose a, a thing that did not give me... No, we don't, we don't have Light Screen on <coughs> anybody right now, anyways. I wonder if I Volt Switch, because I don't know if Volt Switch kills it. So we come in, we're slower, so we can Volt Switch to bring Fat Boy in clean, I think. Maybe we'll try that. Yeah, yeah. Zip. We can also watch its first attack and decide if we want to reflect or not. We most likely will be attacking with the first one. So we're just going to Volt out. Oh, well, no we're not. I don't know why I didn't like that, but... Because I switched? Oh, duh. I guess we're getting the clean switch in anyways? Alright. Yeah, we got speed finally on our side. Now, does it one-shot probably, sadly? Oh, it does flash again. Yeah. yeah. Of course it does. Why does it have flash cannon? Who the fuck knows? Oh, yeah, it's dark type because it's anti fire. Oh, because, yeah, it makes it fair. Let's just get the fuck out of here, I guess. Don't worry, we got all zero buffs. Yeah, there's just no buffing against this guy. He's very well covered. Yeah. Um, dark is neutral. We got bug, I guess, which is neutral. It's got flash cannon, so it's aiming for This would be a nice switch in, except for I'm slower, so I wouldn't be able to attack it first. Do I sack Amelia and then bring in Corvus Fresh, maybe? Do you have, right, does he have any dragon types that I have to worry about? Or anything well, he's got like, a fairy fighting. Well, that's nothing I have to worry about. And... Oh, and this. Can I back? Up? Oh no, no. Sorry, he also has the ice water uh, delay. Yeah. I missed that one. Yeah, so he's got this deli bird and the uh, fairy fighting. I think technically. What if we sack table, maybe? Because I don't know what he's going to do against the remaining types. Yeah, the fighting fairy, no. The water, ice, no. Well, but still no. Because of yeah, I think, I think we sack him to get a clean switch in on some of those here. We'll keep Fat Boy in the back in case we have a better chance to set him on something. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna 
Chaos, I'm sure you totally kelt the crit. Like, this is the... Also, you totally needed the crit there, too. Like... <laughs> Alright, so... What do we do? Do we bring in Corvus, I'm thinking? Alright, now it wants to use all sorts of fucking special attacks, so bulking up's not a huge boost. Yeah. I could U-turn for neutral damage and then sack Amelia to bring Corpus back in. But that's only for faster, which I don't know if we want. Corpus is fast, but he's not like fast. It's kind of, you know, just decent. So if we slow U-turn, what do we do then? I guess if we slow U-turn, we can still bring a melee in and go for a quick attack? Sure, yeah, you get a little bit of extra damage in. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, it's faster, and I forgot to actually hit that, but we're fine. That did not do anywhere near as much damage as I was kind of thinking or hoping it would do. Well, Amelia might be fast enough to do... Yeah, I could do Dragon, Dragon Darts. Because Amelia is really fucking fast. Yeah, Amelia fast. is fast. Um, yeah, we could go Darts just to try and get some last bit of damage. But actually, energy. Amelia might be the only thing that you have that's fast enough. I think Dragon Darts is pretty fast. Pretty nice. And then it's got Dark Move incoming. Unfortunately, it's still alive. Sucks. Now, the fact that it's flying type leads me to believe it has something against Sweet and Spicy here. But I don't know. He's technically got more than 50% of his HP, though, so he could, in theory, take another the flame or provided it didn't roll low the first time. And we. Do we need him against anything? Not particularly. We can maybe try and set up Sunny. Well, not like this, if we want to set up Sunny Day, but we could. We can kill this thing, and then depending on what comes up next, we might be able to set up again. It's Sunny Day and get some speed on the side. Yeah. We are not really well prepared for this fight. I think we might have to switch out the dog. Like, this fat boy just doesn't really, can't really do anything in this fight. Yeah, low the first time. That's cool. I wouldn't say it's necessarily that he can't do anything. I think it's just we haven't found where he can do anything. I think we might have to like do exactly what we did and then during the Tyranitar bring him out. It was just a matter of finding something he's up against. I don't know what these fucking what these goddamn attacks are they have. That would also be really easy. Yeah, to all I looked up was the typings. So I really What is this guy's name? Turo. T-U-R-O. Okay, so, Volcarona is knockoff. It is Slug Wave, Fire Dance, Discharge, Air Slash. I can't really go on that. Trantar is Thunder Punch, Quick Break, Stone Edge, and Earth. Yeah, you gotta go in on that. Uh, then there's Gale, Psycho Cutter, Break Break, Spirit Break, Poison Jab. Can't go in on that. Uh, can't go in on the Iron Hands. You can also go in on the Iron Bundle if I can force that out. Do I just force out the the Deli Bird or the Tyranitar? is fine. Yeah. The other option would be to also redesign the team to actually be with this guy appropriately. Because 
because bringing in two steel types doesn't look like it's going to be the problem. I keep paying the AI. Yeah. I don't have any fucking, like, rare candies, though. I don't want to, like, I don't want to do that either. So let's see what's in my fucking boxes. Alright, so we can level him up, I suppose, with Dark Fairy. What does that give us versus this shit? But I have no idea what half this stuff is. Gonna have. So fire poison is not really helping there. Not helping the deli bird. It's not helping with the Harry Yam. Um, eh, it kind of helps with Harry Yam actually. It's not good, but it can do some stuff. The fairy fighting, it can do. It does all right against fairy fighting. Um, it does really well against the dark flying. And honestly, it's not like fantastic by any means. Uh, what about we use Psychic Fairy? That's fine versus the Gaelade Naga, fine versus the Tyranitar, fine versus the Hydreigon. What? It would be? It has a steel move, though. But I have a fairy move. Yeah, but it goes first. Psychic does not resist steel. Yeah, but I have 131 special defense. Uh, this thing is a like fucking tank. Yeah, it I was, just can't I was move. About stats, yeah, I was, it just yeah. can't move. And then I have a 200 special attack to go into a, the fairy attack. So it does fine. Yeah. I never said it was good. I just said it can hold its own. And it wins versus Iron Hands, more or less. I mean, the Iron Head's a little bit of a threat. But once again, it one shots with anything he throws up. I feel. So it's fine, I guess, kind of. Um, I don't really need another steel type, I don't think, let alone do I want to level this thing up right now. Every, everyone else is so such a flow fucking level. Thick thigh, but I don't think ground does. Well, ground stab isn't any different than stabbing with table, really. Kills that. Kills that. Although, unlike the Tyranitar, this would force out the Delhi Bird. Oh, true. And Deli Bird is running Drill Pack. What the fuck is Freeze Dry? Is that a new attack? It's like an ice move that I think does more uh, damage to like water. Oh yeah, I was introduced to this generation. Okay. Yeah. So it's power of seven. I forgot who else had it, but yeah, it does like extra damage to like water type. Freeze Dry deals damage and has a 10% chance to freeze the target. If you summon a water type Pokemon, this move ignores the effectiveness of this move's type against water and treats it as being super effective. Yeah. Instead, during... I forgot I had a chance to freeze it, though. But, yeah, I knew about the whole water thing. And so... So he's got a 70 damage special attack. Snowscape is... makes it snow, I think. Yeah, that status, which gives so him a sense. defense boost, but that's not... Water Pulse is a joke at this point, and compared to the... Well, I guess Freeze is not that much of a joke compared to Freeze Dry, that's 70 versus 6 power. And then Drill Pack is physical, so... What do you look like? You... are definitely faster than the fucking Deli Bird knockoff. And defense is his biggest thing. Yeah, I think he could be just fine if we force out that. So if we bring you in strictly... to... Um, how do I take your item? Oh, yeah, because there's only one left over this, too. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot you had a second shovel. Uh, I don't actually need to hold on to that, it looks like. Um, or do we give that to you? Oh yeah, because it doesn't have anything that lowers your stats. Yeah, so I don't need the blocking. So, that might be the goal. So we have to do... God damn it, you're still low. I don't think I have any, like, cheesy, like, XP candies or anything. I've got Couple. some, but not enough to do any substantial work on the... Ooh, don't use that yet. <laughs> I wasn't going to... Guess you can hold the lucky egg. Okay, hold on. Let's do it 
if they've decided for whatever reason that you should be on top for reasons. But yeah, we'll pick it up here. This is after the grinding. I forgot, as you may have noticed, to put these guys in the box because I didn't really think about that while we were grinding up thick thighs. And as a result, they all level up. Uh, sue me. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I just want to get to the end credits of this game. Um, we're just going to... Let's see you. So we fought like three or four things. I need to put the punch there. Everyone should be fully healed now. Uh, we lead thick thighs to kill the one thing. And that should bring... It should lure out the deli bird. Yeah. Which then you can send out... Then we can send out boy. Fat Boy. We'll set up and we'll just steamroll as we've been doing. Yeah. That's the goal. We shall see how much it, how well it works out. As we go through this asinine fucking cutscene again. God forbid it just be you talk to him and it cuts to the fight or something. Yeah, like it... it it just been wouldn't, through this already. It just wouldn't be a game free game if it didn't ass about for ten minutes. And yet they're conscious enough for whatever to have you skip the Elite Four before the champion fight, which is like the opposite of what you would want. <laughs> like, yeah. so you can't skip the cutscene, but you can skip an entire four battles. Standard game free. One step forward, three steps backward. Yeah. Or it's like perhaps more accurately, one step forward and then two steps off the cliff to the left hand side. <laughs> Why do we have to watch it do that? Because you have to know that he's catching them, like, right there on the spot, I guess. <laughs> Why does the mash ball even have an animation? It's guaranteed to catch anything. It should yeah, just be did, like... Did it always before? Yeah, <laughs> even in Generation 1. It yeah. Like, well, it's like, Generation 1, I gave him, I'll give him a pass, because that, and even 2 or to less than 3, because that's where they're just like... 1 and 2 specifically, they're just like, we just used the Pokeball animation, and yeah. then painted it purple. Yeah. So it's like, you know what, fine, whatever. Oh, I forgot about the same stream. That's light pain in my ass. Um... Kill it. We used Fiery Dance. We were expecting the other one. <laughs> sludge Wave. Oh, no, Sludge Wave's not very effective. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Or the Air Sludge, that's what I think. Now, this should lure out Deli Bird. Does the substitute still take damage from Sandstorm? Yeah. I wonder if we try and get a. I think we die to Deli Bird. If we are not. If we're at full HP, he might be able to live. Or she might be able to live. Yeah. Wait, that's not Deli Bird. Or no, that is Deli Bird? Yeah, that's not Deli Bird. I wonder if we can get a Yawn off, though. Because we're weak to ice and water, so this thing is going to fucking slaughter me. It's trying to hit special. Yeah, even with that bonus defense, I don't think. I wonder if I should have just yawned the other thing and swapped it that way. But then eventually though. I just need like two or three turns. Can we sack the guys here if we need it later? Well the only thing that is Oh no, it's freezer. How much damage is freezer really? 70 base power. Mm -hmm. Um can we trick it into using its flying? Send up, yeah, so it's like, well, ice is going to be neutral, but it would want to. So it's going to use... It could use Water Pulse, but I don't know why it would. It should see ice, freeze rise doing more damage. It might just change the weather, though. I don't know why it would, but it might just because it doesn't want to be in a sandstorm. Do I take that risk and go for the yawn? Maybe. Yeah. Do we need... What, else do, we, the, what, what, what else do we the have? The Tranche are four times a week. Today. Yeah, but I'm saying, what else... Do we have against Tyranitar? What was its type again? That damn thing. Electric Rock, I think? I'm just gonna make the damn thing up again here. Um, I think it was Electric Rock. Uh, 
Let's bring it up. Okay, let's just rock. So what else do we have against the electric and arguing with the beam? Flash cannon. Yeah, flash So we cannon. have we have a few options here between these two. It's not great. Yeah. Um, do we need them for anything else? The flash cannon not particularly, in fact not really at all. Um, and then fire and Also, not really at all. So I think we can go for the yawn. If it changes the weather, we get a free yawn off. Yeah. If it doesn't, we're out with fake thighs, which is a pain in the ass, but we get a free switch in. Yeah. Ooh, we did go for the nice. weather change. Sweet. You fool! You made it more convenient for my Pokemon to stay in, and you fell asleep. Yeah. Alright, so we're still going for the ice attack, though. But if the dog doesn't get frozen, there should be no issue with that. Yeah. Shit, I forgot about its well baked body. Is there a way we can force. What else has fire? Uh, I guess the. Except it's all special, damn. Everything that's using fire on this team's all special. Yeah. Just saying, I think be they a... also have moves that kill fairies too, don't they? Let's just do this then. Not perfect, but it's, just don't freeze. It's, it's only a 10% chance to get frozen. We just need to knock it. Okay. Huh. What the fuck was that? I, I I'm not gonna complain. I'm confused. But I I don't even know what. I'm really confused. Nah, um, let's get an agility. We don't even need to sub quite yet. Yeah. We can sub when it wakes up. We're gonna use the turn that is guaranteed to be asleep to actually buff ourselves. So you can wake up at any point now. So we'll sub this turn. In case it wakes up. Yeah. That was yeah. annoying our luck. Yeah. Um, is it broken? Is it glitched? What the fuck is. I mean, I shouldn't complain. I'm not gonna. What the fuck is going on though? Uh -uh. Is it? I'm trying to think. Okay, there actually is. Oh, okay. Now it's actually doing something. I'm. Does it one shot? I think it probably one shots. Yeah. All right. Now the snow stopped. It might. Be snow yeah. Snow I again. wonder if it might set up again, which would give me a chance to sub in. I just realized your substitute with the leftovers on is actually really funny. I know. That's why I did it. <laughs> I didn't really think about like, the, the it lets me put out, It lets me put out more sump if yeah. I need to. Oh, it's not going for the snowscape. Well, then it might still give you a clean switch then, if, like, hopefully. It does use snowscape and switch. I, I'm gonna just try. I, we can hold on to the, keep subbing for a while because we have the HP, so I can sub again True. and see if we can't trick it into a snowscape. Because if we get a second workup in, that is huge. Yeah. We can try at least one more time, if not two more times, though. We're in no shortage of substitutes. The only thing stopping us is our HP. And we're now above 50%, so we have to yeah. at least two more on us. Snowscape. Nice! There it is! Nice! Okay, so now we can work up.
And finish. So now we can put in anyone but Dragapult, really. Dragapult would sad to be one of the best options, just for the whole rest of his team in general. But... We're just gonna get out of here. Maybe it'll snowscape again while it's snowing for reasons. Um, who can we send out now? Data, perhaps? Yeah, because then... There is the bunch of ground ones that are... Wait, who has the... The only one left with Earthquake, though, I think, was just the one dude, right? The one that's weak to steal? The Chantar one? Yeah, there's a Drain Punch from the Makahita. It's a light threat. Yeah. Uh, the Flamethrower from the Iron Jugular. Oh, yeah. Dangerous. Well, you'll but, be faster with Thunderbolt. Uh, are we, though? With only one agility, I don't know what that one is. Oh, true. It is. Um, yeah, other than, I mean, the other one's fighting too, the fight, fairy fighting, which will probably not faster then, so Magnusome might not be our answer. Alien, maybe? I can't, I can't send it against the, like I said, it would be our best bet if it wasn't for the fact that it can't go in against Iron Blood. Oh, duh. Corvus takes neutral damage from Ice, so he could go in. Yeah. Um, what does he look like here against the rest of the team? We've got, uh, how much, we got two workups and agility, so we got... So one, two, three, four, five, six on power trip is six times twenty is hundred. It's hundred forty power. So we got so we got hundred forty power on that going into the uh, Tyranitar, which is about the only thing that really threat. I guess the flamethrower from the dark thing, but we can. I'll oh, let you turn that. I can break for it. Um. Well, sweet and spicy. How do you do? You're neutral to ice. You should be faster than this thing. Uh, with the agility boost. And we can go Fire Blast on you as neutral, which should kill with two more of uh, We don't have to worry about the Iron Hands other than the Fake House, just the one attack is going to get off. Uh, we have to worry about the Air Slash, which could still be, he could still be slow. But we could maybe set up Sunny Day during the... Well, it's not going to send that out, though. It's going to send out... Yeah, I'll send out the Oh no, it'll send out the, the Tyranitar first, because it sees more damage on Stone Edge. Mm. Which is... Fine... No, it's not. We want the Sun up before that. Okay, this is not the... We, we need the Sun up, because we need Solar Beam to go off in one turn. Yeah. And he can't stay in for against this thing for more than one turn. He can come in on it and take the neutral Ice move, but he can't take the Water Pulse follow-up. Could he? That's also neutral. I don't think he can take, he can't take two attacks though. Uh, it's two attacks in general, he just does not have any defenses yeah. for it. Can Amelia take one freeze frame? The possibility I think exists, but I don't want to rely on it. Because this thing is not very defensive at all. If it was a Dragonite, or a... Well, Dragonite takes times four, but... If it had the, if it had the defensive stats of Dragonite or Garchomp, yes, but yeah. it just doesn't. It just does not have the, the bulk of one of the other dragons that would enable its times two to, to survive. I mean, maybe it does, but I don't know what I don't know anything about the iron iron bundle here. I have no idea what his stats look like in comparison. So it, it leaves kind of Corvus. I mean, Mainzone Zone could work. Its biggest problem is just being faster than the things it needs to be faster than, which I don't know if one agility boost is enough. Do you want to try me to see if we can get a little bit of I could try. I can't, though, because I already used Baton Pass. That's what we're here. Oh, duh. I could maybe... Because he's going to send out the Iron Thorns next. The only thing Iron Bundle has that does any amount of damage to Dana is going to be the Water Pulse. The Freeze Dry, it's special, so it'll do some damage, but at least we resist it. We can set up a Reflect, then Thunderbolt it, and then with the Reflect up, well, the Reflect up doesn't matter because he's taking too much damage before that, the Earthquake. Although we have Sturdy. If we're faster than the Iron Thing, we survive the Earthquake via Sturdy. Then but, but you're taking damage on the Switch anymore, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Fuck. I think it's gotta be him, and we just gotta pray we're faster, but there's still that iron 
the, the dark one, the dark flying thing. Yeah. That thing is the only thing that I think could still be faster than him with the agility. That and the blade. Yeah. But maybe if he can just do enough damage, we can just win via just throwing shit at him. Yeah. I think we just, yeah, I think we just bring him in. And we'll just do as much damage as we possibly can with all the stat moves. Should have gone for twin agilities. Oh, you stump game, sweet. <laughs> so we got a free switch in. Yeah. So now, if he does now stuff, you have like, sturdy. <laughs> yeah, now I'm sturdy for the earthquake. Which is, it should be what he sees as doing the most damage. It's times four. Oh, sweet. oh wait, no, we don't. Oh, I forgot I had that. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot life form. We don't have sturdy. <laughs> Fucking life form. Not the best idea, perhaps. I think we're faster than this, though, at least. It's the other one I'm worried about. Also, I like how the music cuts out when you use the cannon, apparently, because that was weird. Yeah, because here comes the actual threat right here. Iron, what's his name? Iron Jugulo. If you are faster than this, though... Do you want to try Volt Switching just in case? I just want to use Thunderbolt. I think we gotta at least try Thunderbolt it. Because, well, because the thing is, if it's if it's faster, it kills me. Yeah. If I Volt Switch out or Thunderbolt, it doesn't matter. Because if this thing dies, he sweeps everything but the Gale at the end. True. True, true, true. Um, so, yeah. he's either dead, at which point Volt Switching out doesn't matter. Yeah. So he may as well Thunderbolt. Or he goes all the way to Gale. But I do want to take one quick peek at something. So he's at 200 speed even. That's not horribly slow, actually. Yeah, that that's almost as fast as a Pokemon that is like, because Dragon Ball's base speed is ridiculously high. Yeah, I this could be faster. I'm still nervous. I don't know if he is, but it could be faster. Moment of truth here, people. Moment yeah, of truth. Yeah. Cross, fingers crossed. Oh, we got there. Nice. Okay, cool. So now we go all the way to the Gale Lane, no problem. In fact, we might even outspeed Gale Lane. I think this might be the fastest thing on this team. Oh, no, the Gale Lane probably faster. Probably. That is true. Probably. That might be the next thing coming. No, he's going to use the... Um, I, I think the Gale Lane is always last. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, here comes Har Hariyama. I think this is... I think this is it, though. This is Hariyama and Gale Lane, right? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we do have to eat the flinch thing, but whatever. Oh, that is a little unfortunate. We have nothing very effective. Um, we can't really do anything, though, because it's gonna... It's going to, uh, uh fake out. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter what we choose. We aren't gonna do anything. So you can throw up a reflect and then switch out. Yeah, it only has times two from its, uh, one base. We actually, we're gonna live with reflect up unless it crits. Yeah. It crit. Of course it crit. The only thing that could yeah. possibly kill it. Yeah. Where's your stupid calculated crit bullshit line that you... There oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that was also the first super effective movie that you would have taken. Yeah, the only way he killed me was with the crit, so it would go through the reflect. Yeah. Well, um, at least you get a clean switch and did whoever, though. Which yeah, who we... Corp is me, right? Raper? Oh, this is a fight out of electric type too. Neutral. But the other thing coming out is Psychic Fairy? No, Psychic. Uh, fighting. fighting Psychic, yeah. Oh, no, no, Fighting Fairy. Fighting Fairy, so. Yeah, fighting fairy. Oh, it's Fighting Fairy, so Corvus smokes it. Yeah. yeah, so I would maybe say a million years between the spice. Yeah, so it's, a, it's electric attacks are halved, it's fighting is neutral. What else does it have here? Put the, uh, pull this back up. We have okay. It can't fake out, so it's got Iron Head. So its its only option is Drain Punch. Yeah. Which is fine. I guess we have Reflect though. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna try and set up the Sun even just on the off chance that this thing can do. We got Reflect though. Yeah. Now I can set up Sun. This thing might be able to just kill both of them. Oh yeah, because it also become faster too. Yeah. yeah. So this will give me the, the speed. Oh, I didn't even need the speed versus hand, but I'm I'm gonna need it versus. Like, yeah, for the next game. Yeah, so this, again, without a crit, yeah, no, it's not really a threat without a crit. Alright, so we got the sun, we got the speed, like, this is easy, easy, or not. It's 
things bulky. Well, you could do solar beam. I am, for the 100%. Yeah, yeah. And then you can even toss out a little direct damage against the Glade, which would be nice. Yeah. Because if I don't out outright one shot it, yeah. I don't know how bulky it is. I don't, if it's anything like normal Glade, it's not terribly bulky. It's just kind of average defense. He does get a boost to whatever primary stat he has, but I think it's a type. I like how he can calculate his own crit, but he can't calculate his yeah. Oops. Um, okay. I mean, I'd be... I'm, I'm tempted to believe that if only because I haven't beaten you yet. <laughs> yeah. It looks so... It looks interesting, but also really weird. Like, a Gardevoir that's also a Gallade. Yeah, so it gets boosted. Uh, yeah. Alright, we still have the sun. Uh, Fire Blast does so much more damage than the sun. We have to at least go for it. One shot, one shot. Yes! Nice. I'm like, Gillade's not, like I said, assuming it's, it's matching. It doesn't have to match, but assuming it's based off of the normal yeah. Gillade's, it's only kind of average bulk. So I'm like, that, that should one shot. There, we did it. We get to see the, the, the credits. <laughs> and I get to make my review, which will be out at, uh, it should be out on the day, yeah, that day, for sure. <laughs> it will be out in the future. <laughs> yeah. Play Aaron! What is this? Did you already beat the baddies, not me? Okay, out with it, you dot dot dot. Who are you, really? <laughs> the thing, you, you, dot dot dot, for dot dot everything, dot dot dot, the I machine. Has final finally dot 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 he has dot 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 finally dot 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 but stop dot 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 dot. It sounds like you're like doing like Morse code, but with actual words thrown in there. You're not really. You're really not dot dot dot. My dad, are you? How do you know? I mean, that idea. It kind of would at this point be obvious to the dad's kind of like freaking out robot style, but he doesn't know that yet. It seems like a really weird. Immediate jump to conclusions. I guess Maybe he should have been, I don't know, in the fucking room when it mattered the most. <laughs> oh, dot, dot, dot. Look, dot, dot, dot. How big you've grown, dot, dot, dot. 50 pounds. 50, dot, 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 pounds of you, dot, dot, dot. My, I know it says proud, but I like pounds better. 50 pounds. <laughs> Dot dot dot, sorry, dot dot dot, you were alone, dot, so, dash, so, so, dash, dot dot, long, <laughs> dot, dot, Arvin. <laughs> Duh, dot dot dot, dad? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh, another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be dash. Self-destruct initiated. Yeah, I don't know how he snapped back to his senses and then it's just like, oh nope, he's gonna get sucked back into like like AI.
Also, apparently electric dragon. Also not a skill type. <laughs> No shit, shut up. It's true, our balls won't work. How are we supposed to even battle? I don't know why she said that with a smile on her face. <laughs> God, some crazy electrical signals jamming our balls. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating. And you call yourself an adult or something. I mean, he's not an adult. Like, he's... I wouldn't call a robot an adult. This is so impressive, game. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, now you have to go into your Pokemon. Somehow this one works, uh, apparently. Because it wasn't locking the professor's balls. So technically you're using the professor's Pokeball. Which is, yeah, I guess, kind of clever. But why you couldn't have just Was it the professor's Pokeball, though? Yeah, because this, this is the professor's Pokemon. But it's like... <clears throat> I mean, I know Arvin you know, why had it from his dad, but like, yeah. how do we know it's his dad's Pokeball, not Arvin's? It's, <laughs> but either way, it's like, I don't know why you couldn't have just done that from the start, that's what I tried to do immediately, and it's like, why is it letting me? It's like, oh, because everyone needs to speak first, I guess. Because I came to that conclusion right away. Why are there two of them, though? Why didn't they just use the one from the past, the, the red one? The scarlet Because one. everything's from the future. <laughs> If you use a time machine. Yeah, so maybe that we should have had all the Pokemon from the past except for Miriadon. And the other one should have had all the ones from the future except for whatever the hell the other one's called. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. I guess power comes out of that bit. Let's Um If it's a super effective tool, well, it's not. We have that. So can we even use this if you're not paralyzed? I don't think so. It might though. Yeah, I think it might be normal if you use it normally. I don't know if I had much of an option considering my only thing that wouldn't go off on a taunt is fucking... What's it called? Uh, endure. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should have been that. Whatever. What's the power on this one? 80, so it's all the same special attack, and it's using whichever is stronger. Uh, can we look at its stats real quick? Which is stronger. Not that it really matters. Oh, so it doesn't matter. We're using special attack either way. Gotcha! Um, it's got reasonable defense moves. Yeah, standard legendary Pokemon. Hadron Engine. H Hadron. Hydron? Uh, yeah, the Hadron, Hadron player. Yeah. I was promising it wrong. Hadron and uh, turn to the ground and life straight Then the Pokemon. So there's special attack on the life So yeah, it's very... Of course, this thing apparently has all of the fucking HP and defense in the world. Yeah. You will fall here within the Garden of Paradise. Hey, that's my move. Go find your own. Oh wow, that nearly killed me. Um, is it gonna like heal me? Cause uh, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of fucked. Game like this thing obviously hits way too hard. Yeah. You will not. I'll be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacle to my goal will be eradicated. I just look like the guy from fucking Grandma's Boy. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. Oh, don't raise your special defense. It's hard enough to kill you. That I really can. Oh, look, I can endure it now. Uh, this looks good, bad. Uh, hang in there, Laren. I think it wants you to do what? Uh, endure? Just because it just charged? And... Nope. I want to see if I can even lose this fight. I don't think I can. Oh. 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 Oh, I 
didn't even use Endura. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, because it just does that anyways. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Whoa. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look so good. Hey, Laren, your terror orb's glowing. No, it's not. <laughs> Play Aaron, Myriadon, Tarastalize, dash, dash, and finish this off. What happens if I don't? I don't know. <laughs> well, do we're you about really want to have to do that yet? final fight? <laughs> I don't think I think they're gonna be nice if they just drop you right here again. I'm going for it. <laughs> you can't lose. Wow. You can't lose. <laughs> I should not have time to terrestrialize. Get some super. How? If I terrestrialize, it's just wait. Yeah, it's electric type, right? No, you you terrestrialize this dragon, so you're super oh. effective. But I don't have any dragon attacks. Terror Blast. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah, Terror no. Blast becomes a one shot. Nope. We are finishing this game. We will not terrorize once. That's funny. It's so I may have lost the Nuzlocke, but we will not terrestrialize even <laughs> once. <laughs> that part will remain. Can you beat Pokemon uh, Violet without Trash Slime? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> you 100% can. Because the game physically will not let you lose that fight. Yeah, I'm actually a little surprised because I'm like, when I did that, I'm like, oh shit, you have to Trash Slime at least once. You did it! <laughs> the game still. It's, it's not going berserk anymore. I thought that was Nimona again. So was Ow! <laughs> Out, very outstanding, Dishanin. To, to, to think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final production. Are you back to normal? Oh my god, I'm saying tiny robot. Yeah. Yes, dot dot dot. A complete unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom it took er, to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. It's actually funny, he sounds more like Arvin now that he's a robot. I know, right? <laughs> Where do you think Arvin got his accent? I would say, yeah, maybe, yeah. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, dot, 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 I believe you will be capable of walking whatever path you chose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Le'Aaron. I thank all of you, children. But I am afraid it is time that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. I mean, you kind of already said that. <laughs> like, huh? Or, uh? What, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of dot 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 jealousy. I am a robot that somehow feels emotion. <laughs> I envied you, your freedom, the way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them, dot dot dot. The way that you sought strength and to be better yourselves, throwing all you are into your battles, dot dot dot. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved, dot dot dot. The way that you never cease to seek dash dash nor to fight for dash dash a treasure all your own dot dot dot. <laughs> ah, and the way that you s soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all dash dash 
free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not dot 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 bound. Your own treasure. I thought you were still talking. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, dash dash, for I am inexorably connected to it. So, I've made a decision. I shall hurl myself off this thing and destroy this robot body. <laughs> I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now? Where can we finally reach you? Especially after you claim that only Pokeballs apparently could go through. Well, humans. He said only human, like oh, any, like that. Actually, did he say only Pokemon? He said Pokeballs. I think he said, I thought he said no humans can go through. Specifically. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but I think that is what he said. Though. If it's no, no humans, humans, it would be no anything biological. But then, like, how would that explain the past Pokemon? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense. You can't well, yeah. have. You can't have. No matter what, it doesn't you make can't have sense. a stupid as shit restriction as no human. Why? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, but yeah. E either way, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not going. And also, they talked about it. I thought they only sent Pokeballs. Because the Pokeballs would go into the future, rain down in a fucking torrent of oh, hail's yeah. fire, and then get teleported back here. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Um, but he's a machine, so maybe that still works. But does the machine even big enough to fit him? Because if they were just sending Pokeballs back before the machine, that actually fit. It's, it's a pretty big opening. I am not going. Uh, wait, hold on. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my treasure to see the future world for myself. Is what? Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Dot dot dot. Hold on. So he is tied to the machine. Yes. If he goes away, in theory, the machine stops working. Yes. But he's still there in the future, so the machine's still working. Kind of, yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. How does the machine on the other end even work? Well, I, I thought you were going to say it's like, if he leaves, would that be the machine being like, no, if you leave, I get shut down, so therefore he wouldn't be able to leave. I mean, you could argue... the question that, that I had. You could argue that, but... Wait a minute, isn't, wouldn't this programming forbid him but from it, 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 it depends on what I'm just saying. Does the machine have some sort of destination, like Terminator style, where it's one way? You just, whoop, you're yeah. there, you're done. Forever. In which case, how do the Pokeballs come back that you sent into the future? Yeah. And if it is a two-way trip... The fact that he is still yeah, alive. The other end. How was that on to begin with? Well, like, not so much that's on to begin with. It would just be a robot him still. That same robot him in the future. Because in theory, the robot, unless something destroyed it yeah. or wore it down, it would still be there. There'd yeah. just be two of him now. But it means that the machine's still active in the future, and thus it's still active. Period. Yeah. Because the machine's that, still that's active. Just so maybe, weird. maybe the present one. Fine. I'll allow. Maybe the present one shuts down, but the machine itself is still active, just at a different time in in yeah. uh, in the in time space. <laughs> We're probably thinking way too hard on this because, again, they are not trying to think hard on this. Oh so yeah, we got to definitely. We, we got to give them benefit of the doubt. We were I was making a lot of like nasty comments in the last episode or two about Time Machine. The Pokemon did a pretty decent job. They didn't make it a big fucking thing, and now I am just to be a dick. But <laughs> they, I, I will say that I, as much shit as I was giving them and everyone else for bringing time and travel in. Pokemon did it right. They kept it very fast and loose, and they didn't really try and think too hard on it. Yeah, which they, is generally more a plot device than it was something to dwell on. Yeah, which is generally how you want to do time travel, in my opinion. Unless you're doing something like, say, Dark on Netflix, I still highly recommend it. Yeah. Where time travel is a integral part to how the show is, and they put in a lot of thought. Yeah. To make it work. Is it perfect? No, time travel never will be. There's still a plot hole or two, but they do a very, very good do job tying all as many loose ends as they possibly yeah. can Which is because they weird. really put the thought into it. Yeah. And this one didn't, and that's fine. Play fast and loose, and then just don't dwell on it. Don't yeah. don't draw attention don't to it. Those are the correct ways to do it. Like yeah. really do your research and really figure it out, or just or just don't even really try. Yeah. Don't <laughs> just 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 don't just ignore the time travel. Don't bring it up. Don't talk about it. Yeah. Just just be like we use time travel, and then just forget about it. Like yeah. Yeah. they did time travel. Then Pokemon did it right. I'll, I'll give them credit there. Arven, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all of the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any dot dot dot. Your father truly loved you. You 
dot 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 you can't dot 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 you can't just go and say a thing like that now no I suppose you're right I am sorry Arven Miri Adon Le Aaron it is a little sad but I'm afraid this is good dash by Dad! I mean, once again, your actual dad's dead, so I mean, like. <laughs> I will give Pokemon credit, too, for one other thing. I know I don't want to talk over the cutscenes usually, but they don't have fucking yeah, voices. Yeah, there's no voices yeah. to, yeah. But, um. They outright admitted death. Like, I know people have been like, yeah. oh, but there was ghosts in the first one, and they admitted death. Like, no, yeah, but they never actually showed they never or had discussed. They never actually yeah. be dead. They never the actually showed or discussed the actual act of death. They just had ghost Pokemon and implied that death was a yeah. thing. But in this one, they have a legitimate yeah. character that you kind of know who is dead. Yeah, like, dead. And they talk about it. They, yeah. me, they say the word dead. Yeah. And die. <laughs> Several times. Yeah. And the, the most, like, hint, hint they get with it is gravely injured. But it's like, even that does imply death, though. Yeah. Mortally wounded. Yeah, yeah, mortally wounded, yeah. How could you just go, or just dot, 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 go, dad, dot, dot, dot. Arvin, are you okay, bud? <laughs> I'm asking only for I several can, reasons. Only I can call him best bud. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, somewhere deep down... I dot 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 kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake dot 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 but it dot 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 when it said my name using his voice and wearing his face dot 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 even if it was fake it dot 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 felt real you know and so I just Dot 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 I dot 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 Which is why I feel like if someone made a robot of an actual person that acted and had the same memories, that would be something that like that would be newsworthy and people would probably like protest it from existing. Cause it's like that is kind of fucked up. <laughs> like, cause you you might be messing with like kids. I mean like, oh yeah, your dad's dead, but here he is again. <laughs> it's like, okay, that would I don't know. I feel like that would fuck people up. I don't know why you would need to do that, ever. Well, like I mean, like if if that technology ever existed, where you could like perfectly recreate. Well, the idea like of that? the idea of a recreate that well, that was an android. Androids are a perfectly legitimate thing, assuming you know you get a powerful enough AI for it. Yeah. So you could do it, but generally speaking, the like, androids would be like data more or less from Star Trek. Yeah, I know it's a TV show. Shut the fuck up. It's a good example. <laughs> Data is just someone who looks human, yeah. but they don't have human emotions and other such true, faculty. True. Um, the idea of like what they did, where they uploaded a human consciousness into a robot, technically it is one of those things people are hypothesizing about simply because our brainwaves function on the exact same uh, frequency as machines. So there's some credibility to the thought that it might be possible. There's yeah. no way to say for sure, and no one's as far as I know, truly committed to some sort of tech that would allow you to dump your brain into a robot. But it has been thought of, it has been talked about as a somewhat more real possibility than, say, faster than light travel. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that kind of stuff, though, like, because I wouldn't personally mind. Like, I think that that technology would be kind of cool to see. But... So many people out there would be, yeah. Yeah, we should probably get to the credits, yeah. yeah sorry. Wondering here. But yeah, um, I feel like so many people would like, be like freaking out about that. Androids? I love an android. Yeah, see, see, I think it'd be fine, but other people would go ballistic over it. Sure. Sorry, dot dot dot. I don't know what I'm saying, dot dot dot. That, that's okay. <laughs> we have him to speak for us. Oh, it was the moment. I guess Myriadon is sad too. Oh no! No, I'm saying it! Ah! <laughs> oh, that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. All I can think about is battling, because I'm a one-dimensional character. If it 
tries to nudge me at all with a belly rub while it's huge like this, I think I'm surely gonna die. You know, let's not skip over the big win here. Layer into Mir Mir Mirhadon just saved all of Calvada. Where'd the other one go? Huh? Oh, you beat it. So therefore, it, it died. Exist. I don't know. Uh, that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Larry. It went back to its balls. So yeah. Dot dot dot. That's my best bud, Lay Aaron, for ya. Dot dot dot. Cause they are best buds. You know, Arvin. Um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a really fun adventure of his own in the future. He was immediately torn apart <laughs> by a small Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dot, dot, dot. Thanks, Penny. Uh, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Aaron? Go to the end credits. <laughs> you said, come on, everyone. Let's make our way home and listen to a really awful pop song. And how do we get out of the pit? I guess we well, have because the, they said the flying taxis for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's right. There. So, so why didn't we use them to get in? I yeah, know. Actually, this pop song's not the worst thing ever, but it's not Pokemon. I wanna be the <laughs> very best. Okay, you know what? You bring up a good point. I guess Pokemon, not the games, but Pokemon as a series has a lot of pop songs in it. I was thinking the movies, but yeah, even the opening credits is kind of like that. Holy fuck. It takes this long to roll load up. Thinking. Uh, thinking. It's just credits. Thinking. It's a couple of pictures and some words moving up. Crash and burn. That'd be hilarious right now. <laughs> yeah, you don't get any credits. But up, oh, oh, up. Oh, maybe oh, the scenes before the credits. I thought the scenes after the credits. Why do they all look depressed as shit? Well, I mean, they did just find out that Arvin's dad is dead. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> so they weren't that. Just what they weren't that depressed. Dead. Uh, before. Yeah. Like, the whole, they were trying to get all upbeat, like, yeah, let's go home, we're finally done. Yeah. So yeah, I'm fine, sure. Arvin's probably still trying to co uh, emotionally cope with, you know, a very existential crisis right now. <laughs> yeah. But the rest of them are, like, all equally depressed, like, they've yeah. been, like... I mean, they're kind of, like, yeah, they're, they're in a better mood. Best, bud! <laughs> Oh shit, well, those are really fast credits actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the game. As I said, I do want to actually, I haven't done a review in a while for those of you who actually pay attention to the channel more. But I thought I'd bring it back for this one because I felt like this is something I really needed to talk about. Yeah. Not Mostly because we spent the better part of, what is this now? I want to say 25-ish episodes, I don't remember. Uh, we basically spent the better part of 25 episodes, we'll say, making fun of this game. And the truth is, as fun as it is to make fun of any game, even good games, Oh yeah. Um, they, they, as a result, it can leave everyone else who gets really defensive, uh, like, say, Pokemon fans out there. Yeah. Uh, with a bad taste in their mouth and just like, oh, you just made fun of the game because you hate the game. Well, I, honestly, I didn't hate the game. I'll be honest, right? Spoiler alert for the review, I didn't hate the game. Yeah. This is actually one of the better Pokemon games overall. Uh, but I think that's another reason why I needed to do the review is to help to help mitigate some of the damage I'm doing by making fun of the game the entire time yeah. you're playing and explain that the game is actually ultimately pretty good just with a lot of flaws. Yeah. And any, any game will have flaws. Like, no matter how good or bad. Like, yeah, the, the difference is how well the game compensates for those flaws. And this game, most of its flaws thankfully weren't, like, detrimental to the yeah. gameplay experience. It was usually graphical glitches, the, the, the worst thing that, Yeah, the worst thing that could happen is a crash, but it's there was pretty general... They were generous. Uh, the, the, the battles were a little slow. Like, holy shit, were they slow. Yeah. They're, they're, like I said, there's a bunch of things, but nothing that was, you know, just... I'm never going to pick up this game again. I say that after having played a game that I recently just slammed down. I've been about to throw my computer out the fucking window. 
Um, it was just that bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> despite Doesn't happen often, but there are some games that can do that to a person. Despite the fact that I was up until, for the most part, doing everything in my power to enjoy the game, because it had everything I wanted in the game, but then it just kept fucking me about. It kept point. reminding you of. It, it kept doing issues. really, it kept doing really, really bad things to the point where I just got hit. So yeah, a good game, a game that might have all the best intentions and all the best ideas and the gameplay you like still might be a bad game, and a game that has shoddy graphics and shoddy performance issues still can be a good game, yeah. even if there's a few, for lack of a better term, questionable story uh, decisions. <laughs> we'll talk again. We're gonna talk more in depth when I get to the. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, so Ken is still a part of the team, then. And it's not like a lot. But yeah, oh... Because he's basically the Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah, but, right. but, the, but the overall is, this game is actually pretty good, and probably one of the better Pokemon games. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the real question I'm sure you're all asking, which I'm going to save for the review, in terms of the answer, is, is it better than Pokemon Fo Generation 4, a.k.a. Pokemon Platinum, the only Generation 4 game that matters. Yes, that like I said, you want to find out if this is better than Generation 4, you'll have, you have to check out the review. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I think it is safe to say, though, that especially compared to Gen 7 and 8, like, it's yeah. way better. There were, there were definitely some things Generation 8 did better than this game. Sure. And there were definitely things this game did better than Generation 8. Yeah. And same thing in Gen 7. It's like, there's a couple of things in Gen 7 that you can still even pull from that's like, maybe that was done better. But I feel like a lot more of this yeah. game was better than Gen 7, to be yeah. perfectly honest. Uh, 7, as a whole, was the classic Game Freak one step forward, two steps off the cliff to the left. Yeah. Um, but that's not to say that it didn't have good points. It's just, 7 yeah. was... There, were, there was more questionable decisions, to say the least, than there were good decisions. Yeah. Whereas this game, I feel, again, for the review, but it, I feel like it made more good decisions than questionable ones. Yeah. However, I will note now, before the review even, that the questionable decisions it did make were pretty substantial. Yeah. They were big. Oh, look, Ed Sheeran was Oh, there. I didn't realize that Ed Sheeran was the singer of that song. How about that? Maybe that's why I didn't hate it so much, even though I think it felt weird that he had the Pokemon. But yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense, though. I like how you noticed that at the same time I did, too. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm, I don't even know if there's people still watching. Oh, no, Satoshi Tajiri, he's the one that's the... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know if there's people still watching at this point, because most people don't watch the credits, but I always watch the credits for anything at least once, because yeah. for the love of Christ, everyone you just saw, if you did watch it, put work into this game. No oh, matter yeah. how bad the game was, they put work into it and they deserve to be respected. Yeah, and knowing Japan, they probably worked hard for it. Oh yeah, yeah. they were probably underpaid and overworked for that shit. Yeah, so it's like they, they deserve even more considering <laughs> they're probably their work environment. I have to say though, I'm a little more nervous for my revenge run on this because holy shit, yeah, that final fight there. It's going to be tough. Um, getting and not that fight either. There's a couple other fights too. Where yeah, I've get, done getting past the um, getting past the um, the fighting thing in the revenge run probably not going to be that terribly hard, especially yeah, since I'll be had I'll be using a cheat it. sheet for the future run as opposed <laughs> unlike this one. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll have you know the the Pokemon like the the database and stuff open. I'll be looking at their attacks. Yeah, I'll be able to formulate a better. You'll, you'll be more informed. Yeah, whereas this one was mostly... Because a blind weird. run, it's like, you, you can expect that a blind run, you're going to lose a lot just because you don't know what you're expecting. But the revenge but, run, it's like, it's not going to be blind anymore. But yeah, in the revenge run, everything up until that final fight, 100% yeah. doable. That final fight, holy shit, in the revenge run, I'm yeah, not looking harder. forward to that Because one. each one of those is basically a legendary Pokemon. All right. He basically has a full team of legendaries. And it's not just that. Well, the one thing they do have, though, is they have a lot of the same types, thankfully. So True. if you have the right combination, you probably only need like three Pokemon. Yeah. And I'm not counting using the dogs as a cheating fucking, you know, setup <laughs> and way out. I'm just saying like the fact that they had two fighting types, yeah. um, they had two electric types, they yeah. had two... They also had ground and fire, or rock and fire, which are all, you know, weak to the same stuff. All yeah, the same stuff. There's, a lot, you, there's a lot of coverage you can get between maybe three to four Pokemon. So yeah. you, that means you basically have two... Because even slot. if they're different typings from each other, they're so weak to a lot of the same yeah, stuff. You, you basically, I would, yeah, with how, much, with how much they overlap each other, you basically kind of have 
like two wild card slots. So you can bet yeah. four Pokemon that can deal with his entire team and two Pokemon to fill in any gaps you might need just to add some extra coverage in case something happens and you need that What really it. helped me is I had a really solid water type and that got through a lot. Yeah. If I had a Gyarados, that'd make a huge fucking difference. Gyarados yeah. would steamroll that shit, except for the two electric types. But even the one, yeah. though, he can take the Tyranitar just because of weakness. My mind did because it was faster, too. Yeah. I had the uh, Palafin, like the little dolphin thing. That, yeah. that one's cheating as all hell, though. God, yeah. Um, <laughs> the one thing I, I will say now, spoiler alert, is I think in the uh, the Revenge Run I'm going to ban uh, Subpass. Uh, I think we I think we demonstrated here enough just the the absolute <laughs> power yeah, of a Subpass. That is, yeah. So I don't think we need to do that again. I think we can try and win on a little bit more traditional way. Anyways, we should probably finish this up here. We, this episode's going long, and, and I got shit to do. Yeah. Maybe as far as you know. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like the hero's finally here. Oh yeah, I just realized I have all these characters. That's gonna be fun. Oh, uh, would you join us, Miss Laren? We're uh, in for a beautiful army. Guess we'll find out soon enough. We Maybe haven't you been trying to fuck around. Yeah. Also, we didn't talk to him at all before you showing up. Uh, no need to concern yourselves, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. There they go. I really called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine. That apparently you And thus about. prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. How does he know? I thought that I was guess, a big secret. I guess maybe someone told him, or like he was told. Uh, your actions are truly outstanding in every regard. Why did he believe them? And I, could be, I couldn't be prouder of you. That's a good point. Though, your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. We weren't... I mean, yeah, you were let in. We they were, said that they we were people, invited in. Yeah, because they said the only people that are allowed to let people enter is the professor. And you were invited by the professor. Heh, <laughs> you got us there. No, he doesn't. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystem... Oh, thank you! Thank you <laughs> for the word ecosystem and protect in the sentence. They fucking did it. Yeah. And also they do, you know, admit that there's several ecosystems within the small region of Paldea, which doesn't make sense, but yeah, at least they could call it out. I'm willing to overlook that particular point. Phew. So we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, and before I forget, Miss Laren, there's uh, something I wish to have you have. Each of your friends have received one already, so this one's for you. A badge! Okay, no, that's fair. <laughs> the very best Pokeball. <laughs> I know, if only Arvin was... was he is one. with you! He, but he didn't hand me the thing. It's not uh, Arvin doing them. Yeah. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. You did? That gift, yeah, is one we just bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor that... What? That badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Fuck my students! Oh? Well, I suppose you must rather worn out. You must be rather worn out from your recent adventures. And, uh, Master Arvin. Oh, I'm he's Master Arvin <laughs> now? <laughs> I was so sorry to. Are you his butler? Well, he calls every male master and all the females miss. So it's like, yeah, if you're male, you're master. Yeah, him. so he's a butler, apparently. Yeah. But the miss may, like, the, I never noticed that before, because he's only ever, I think, really talked to you, Namona, and then the... Yeah, he doesn't so really never, talk to I, So I've never noticed the mister versus master. I just assumed he was just going, miss, like, yeah, fine. Yeah. But he's just butlering this whole thing. Yeah. I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Uh, dot, 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 well, dot, 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 yeah... It was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died, dot, dot, dot. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. For the first time in ages, in the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-dash-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showing your son, showering your son with attention. Uh. All I know is I'm done feeling like s some lost little kid. Done. Time to say good dash bye and move on. 
I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here, dash dash, and my boss if course. <laughs> well, well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. <laughs> he was just as weird and speaking as you. Of course, I must remind you that you're nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What Dash dash. This is a school, after all. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public. Your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. <clears throat> Ooh! I know who we should celebrate! We should hold, hold a Pokemon Battle Contest because battling is my only character. Seriously? Could we not? But battle! Only if they bring in the Frontier. <laughs> a Pokemon Battle Contest, you say? Yeah, well, a Pokemon like... Battle Frontier. <laughs> what about a Pokemon Battle Festival so you can actually have multiple venues and do multiple cool things? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event would, will be quite beyond us. We need many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Well, like what? Do you have sports? Oh, uh, speak of the devil? Yeah, it's beat up. Oh, it's not the one I was thinking of. I thought it was going to be the fucking Team Star dudes. Oh, yeah. Give who's Gita again? The champion. Lady. Oh, Lady from Arrow, whatever, that's right. I only know her as that, because I only just I don't want to name her name. True. Pardon my intrusion. I couldn't help but over here. Who's crazy hair? Fucking squid hair. <laughs> the Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Yeah, that's what I thought her name was, too. <laughs> well, well. A most kind, kind offer, Cheryl. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should complete their for the compete for the title. Yes, compete. I don't know why I, was, I keep thinking complete, but there's no help. <laughs> compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You compete too, right, Kamira? Go to hell. <laughs> is that is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not a part of the academy, right? Actually, I think chairman of the school board as well as of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real, I mean, I knew she was on another level, but dot dot dot. Wow. I mean, how hard is it to be chairman of a school and a sporting event? Like, that's not... Yeah. <laughs> that's not, not to mention the fact that, that if what my hypothesis is correct, they'd be the same role anyways. Yeah. Because it's, in theory, the reason Palde is so small is because it's all school it's grounds. It's all school grounds, yeah. Which, that, therefore, yeah. yeah, the chairman of the, the Pokemon League is the same person. The same person, yeah. The Pokemon <laughs> League is a part of the school. Yeah. And, and that's you. why, like, 90% of the battles are students. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight to, or packed tight with work, so I simply, work that I simply must attend to. Uh, can you free up some time? Somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Leon would agree to lend me a uh, hand with my work. I'll have a <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, you have a less happy or, or like excited option. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Leon. To get started, to get started straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect how there is various gyms in my stead. They are fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank. Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their powers in battle. Prowess in battle. 
They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. Which I haven't done that yet, but I am kind of excited to see what some of the gym leaders are doing. Uh, you get to go all out? Or you get to have all out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Maybe we could have double battles, not with you, with Best Bud. Yeah. Now when you roll against the to another game crucial game. matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our league's point system. Patch the what? Like the, the hacking weakness that she hacked in. Oh, I thought she was saying like, it's it's fake currency, right? Oh. I'm pretty sure it's infinite. Yeah. I get it. You know, she's saying she wants to patch the actual security yeah, holes. Not, can't hack. Not, yeah. not the, uh, oh, we're missing a bunch of points. <laughs> you mean the made up funds yeah. that exist only in this area that are infinite? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't have to worry about inflation on league points. Yeah. Um, but there's this new anime that's no. also about a school, like a hero school. Uh, I've I missed that and I was gonna binge it. <laughs> I don't know, I see her as a my hero in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Like, she definitely watches my hero. God, I mean, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Her favorite character is obviously Todoroki. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. The the fire and ice guy, because he's got the white hair and the red hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is awesome, Laren! So this inspection thing, who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swim with the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take a- I thought Dark was talking because he moved. I'll take care of uh, filling up the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. That was hard to do with one. Yeah. I say it's wonderful. Yeah, I say it's wonderful to see you all. Why is he British? Such initiative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you each have a critical role to play. Yeah. All of a sudden, that like really messed with like, how I was speaking as him. Just no, no. Just noticing that he's you know miss and master like a butler. But yeah. He's got the proper English like like what yeah. the fuck? I say. Yeah. It's like what the fuck. It, it, it throws me off. Uh, Penny assist in the league. Our new champion inspecting the gyms. The mono arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. And Arvin, you can fuck off. <laughs> Where's Mill Tank? <laughs> Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. <laughs> it's just like literally Arvin's like, ah, you know what? Yeah, nothing involving you. Fuck you. I guess that's like, it. Like they make it a joke, but it's like it's kind of true. Is that it then? It's just yeah, that's it. Now you just rechallenge all the gyms, and I don't even know where you go to do the. Why am I stuff? Why am I here? Right? Oh, because that's wait. Fuck? Why am I there? <laughs> oh, you might have to like might change your location when you leave, but you get to the game and get confused by I can go to the nurse's office. Like, you go to classroom one D. Where do students go if they're under the weather though many of them just want to talk to nurse? Why is there all of a sudden a new classroom? What? There's just randomly two. Mr. New locations Salvatore? Like Miss Time? Mr. Jacques! Oh! Those, okay, so Salvatore's cooking class. So, okay, I guess this is because you haven't been here since they added the two new classes. Arvin's classroom for students in the humanities track. He's the homeroom teacher. Yeah. Penny's class for students in the STEAM track. STEM track. Miss Time is homeroom teacher. Your and Nimona's yeah, classroom. Math. Students. Jacques is the homeroom teacher. Alright, we probably should get the fuck out of here, though. It's been enough of an episode. We got to see the credits. We started Phase 2 of the game. And unlike Sword and Shield, where I did play through Phase 2 of the game, this, this one doesn't... This Phase 2 just sounds like, uh, fight the gyms again. Yeah, this one doesn't sound like it's a story-based <clears throat> epilogue where there's, where there's more to actually be had. I haven't done any of it, so there might be like little extra bits to the gym leaders, but... Yeah, there doesn't sound like there's a very story-heavy... At the very least, want to go, talk, go back and talk to the Oh. Yeah, so if you press, like, yeah, if you go over the top of it, you can. Alright. Uh, 
don't know. I said I could. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I didn't just replace it with one of your Pokemon boxes. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's that. This game is successfully beat. Yep. Thanks everybody for watching. Yada 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 YouTube stuff. Actually, no, for the sake of, yeah. like, I've, I've been told that you should say Doobly it. Doobly-doo, so. bell, notifications, yeah. uh, like, like comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> all that fun stuff. All that stuff that apparently gets the algorithm to notice the videos, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Uh, that is the end of this game. Like I said, stay on the lookout for the review. I'm not going to say anything in particular, because I don't know when this episode's going to make it out, because I haven't been counting the episodes. But at some point after this episode, let's say within a week, maybe two weeks, uh, the actual review should be out. So if you care enough, you can check that out too. And it'll have a lot more of my thoughts on this game, which like I said, not a necessarily a bad game by any means. Yep. So that's that. At some point, I will be, like, again, there will be the revenge run where I re-nuzlocke this. Um, a few uh, additional rules uh, besides, you know, I might have to redo how I decide what Pokemon get caught in a route. But there's a lot of stuff I'll figure out between now and then. But yeah, the Revenge Run will be coming once I clear my schedule of some stuff and have a lot of, a lot more time on my hands to, to play it. I don't know exactly when, so don't hold your breath. But it will be yeah. eventually. Yeah, it will happen. Before my life, or before, well... <laughs> It'll happen in my lifetime, assuming I don't die within the next couple of months or so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're out of here. It's been a long time, so we'll see you guys later. Thanks for all that fun stuff.